Here's a quick recording on how to make a box in FabMaker Studio. I'm going to choose New Project and I'll choose the Landscape Layout. And when I get to my design screen, I'm going to use the Shapes tool. And I'm going to make a simple square box. So I'm going to use this simple square shape. And it's a good idea before you make a box to actually look at some boxes and turn them around and see how many sides there are and then make the sides similar to what you see in the boxes you see. You can actually reshape these basic shapes and come up with whatever shape you want. Now you notice that as I drag these shapes together, if I line them up approximately and get them kind of close to each other, they snap together because all the, snape, the shapes are pre-sized and magnetized so they fit together and they snap together. And you also notice that around the edge there is the red line and the red line is a cut line and these green dashed lines are fold lines. So if we want to see what that looks like so far, let's go here in the lower right and open up our 3D view. And I can drag this green slider to see my design fold up, put my cursor in the black area, and there it is. That's actually beginning to look like a box, but there's something wrong. There are no sides. So I'm going to need some more shapes. And since I'm doing the simple square box, let's take a couple more shapes and see if what that looks like. Okay. So now let's look. Aha! That definitely looks like a box. Now when I go to make this box, I am going to want some tabs because that helps me put the box together. And here, halfway down the left side, is the Cut Fold Tab Tool. That lets me do some cool things like add tabs. So I'm going to click a side and choose the Tab button. And I'll click another side and choose the Tab button. But this is actually a very good problem-solving activity, so I'm not going to do the whole thing for you. You figure out where the tabs need to be. But let's look at one thing. Where is the lid? What piece of this pattern is the lid? And I think it's this piece, and I know I'm going to want a tab on that. So I add a tab there. And there I have a basic box. Uh, if I'm lucky enough to have a silhouette, I can click here to fabricate, automatically cutting it on the silhouette, or I can just print this as a PDF and I can cut it with scissors. So there's a lot you can do with the software without that. Um, experiment with making your own boxes, using resizing these shapes and seeing what you can make using different shapes. Have fun. Bye.